Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring, a la Shmup. Ever since your little brother saw the movie, It, he's been terrified of clowns. <laughs> so for his eighth birthday party, you decide to uh, get a clown just to mess with him. <laughs> Great brother. Unfortunately, the guy who shows up is not the creepy clown you were hoping for. Instead, he's got the biggest smile you've ever seen. However, he also seems really into algebra, which is just kind of creepy. You decide to pursue this angle and see where it goes. The clown tells you his smile can be modeled by the equation y equals x squared plus 6x minus 16. How wide is the clown's smile, you ask? This looks like a quadratic equation. Let's take a look at the equation on a graph. To find the width of the clown's smile in inches, we can calculate the distance between the x-intercepts or roots of the parabola. The x-intercepts are where the parabola crosses the x-axis, which means y equals zero, at that point anyway. So let's set y to zero in our equation. y equals x squared plus 6x minus 16, which equals zero. To find the x values where y equals 0, we can factor the right side into the form the quantity x plus p times the quantity x plus q. We can use FOIL to multiply this out. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, then last. x times x is x squared plus x times q, which is qx plus p times x which is px plus p times q, which is pq. Since p and q are just constants, we can say that px and qx are like terms because they both contain x. We can combine them to make the quantity p plus q times x. Let's look at our original equation to compare. We can see that p plus q equals 6 and p times q equals negative 16. So first, let's find two numbers that multiply together to give negative 16. And here's a chart of all the factors of negative 16. 1, negative 16, negative 1, 16, 2, negative 8, negative 2, 8, 4, and negative 4. We're looking for a p plus q value of 6, which only works for 8 and negative 2. That means x squared plus 6x minus 16 can be factored to x plus 8 times x minus 2. So for the equation to equal 0, either x plus 8 or x minus 2 must equal 0. Which means x equals negative 8 and x equals 2. So our parabola goes through the x-axis at points negative 8, 0 and 2, 0. How does this relate to the clown's smile? Well, the width of his smile is the distance between those two points, which is 2 minus negative 8 or 10 inches. Okay, you decide this clown is definitely creepy enough for your little brother. However, your plan backfires. Instead of turning him off clowns even more, your prank turns him on to algebra. Great job, and he was already the good-looking one.